Hey everybody, this is Tiffany Villalobos. Welcome to Love, Set, Match. Today, we're excited to partner with tennis blogger Stephanie Kowalczyk. Stephanie is a lead data scientist at Game Insight Group, also known as GIG, at Tennis Australia. Stephanie is also the creator of Sats on the T, where she writes about the questions behind the big numbers in tennis. Hey Stephanie, it's great to have you on our first joint tennis video. Hi Tiffany, looking forward to talking tennis together. So today we will be sharing about the statistics of the challenge system. This is a system in tennis where the player gets to challenge whether the ball is in or out and gets to potentially win or replay the point. The challenge system came under scrutiny recently in a match between David Goffin and Rafael Nadal where the official made a bad call and stuck to his judgment. Here's a clip of the video. No, y mame. No. No, se pasa la. La moja se se la moja. No se pasa la. No se pasa la. No se pasa So, Stephanie, shouldn't the sport be able to prevent this kind of error? There are technologies out there um, that can help to prevent those kind of mistakes with line calls. And in fact, we already see tennis using it. So, hard court and grass court matches since 2006 have been using the Hawkeye Challenge System. It's a multi camera tracking system that can help to reduce errors um, when, when it comes to close calls. Um, it hasn't been used on clay because there's this perception that the marks that the ball make on the dirt are good enough to judge any close calls, but this was a clear instance where even that can be flawed. So even though clay might um, get into fewer errors than we see on grass or hard court, it still could benefit from having the challenge system. So I've recently completed a project with colleagues at Tennis Australia and with Jeff Sackman from the Tennis Abstract. And what we wanted to look at with that study was a number of questions regarding the use of challenges. So we put together a database of over a thousand challenges from men's and women's professional matches. And one of the things that clearly came out of that was that it is having an important impact on overturning or correcting um, mistaken calls by line judges. So the numbers show that about 30% of challenge calls will be overturned. So that's about one out of every three challenges that a player will make will turn out to be um, a success for the player um, and an overturned call. And um, it would make sense for it to be available uh, th for every match, no matter the surface, um, no matter what court it's on at an event. So make the system available on all courts and the problem should be solved, right? Even with the challenge system and the use of the Hawkeye technology, mistakes can still happen. So the system uses multiple cameras to track the location of the ball, um, but it's a projection. So it's making an estimate about where the ball is likely to be. It's not the truth. So even though you see in the image shown during um, the challenge replay, what appears to be the actual location, um, really there should be some cloud of uncertainty around those ball marks. The question is, how small is it? So we don't know exactly, but some studies and reports suggest that the average error in the Hawkeye estimates is three millimeter. Okay, so is that small enough? I mean, you'd like that number to be zero, right? But uh, is three millimeter good enough to basically be equivalent to zero in practice? Well, it's not zero, but if we compare it to some other numbers, it might give us some perspective on how small uh, that is. So for example, the width of the regulation tennis ball is 67 millimeter. So that's magnitudes larger than three millimeter. Um, also, some studies have looked at line judges' performance and suggest that their perceptual acuity or their margin of uncertainty is about 40 millimeter. 
So that would suggest that um, having the system would reduce many more errors than would be possible with just human judges. Um, and that would be argument enough for keeping it, even though it may have some imperfections. So Stephanie, thank you again. It's a pleasure having you on the show. We love your expertise, and we hope to talk to you soon. You can follow Stephanie on her blog, Stats on the T, also on her Twitter, Stats on the T. So what do you think about Hawkeye being used on clay courts? What is your opinion on challenges that go wrong? Leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Please subscribe to our Love Set Match channel on YouTube to find out about our next show. Please subscribe. Also, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. We'll be sure to follow you back. I'm Tiffany Villalobos, and thanks for watching.